song started. I see we're, we are ready, ready. Some of us are, some of us got our game face on. You guys are making me nervous. Um, let's see, where's the song at? All right. And without further ado, are we recording? Is it recording? Yes, it is. Here. And then I guess if we see, oh, Ms. Lauren's on, I'm going to make you co-host again. And then if for whatever reason somebody pops in, we will, I guess maybe the song wasn't playing. There we go. Okay, we're sharing audio. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Math Madness, the kindergarten edition. We are here with uh, some of our remote and in-person kindergarten scholars who have been selected by their teacher uh, to participate in our first ever virtual math B called Math Madness. So way to go. You're awesome. And we're so excited to have you guys here today. All right. So let's bring that down real quick. So just to let you guys know what this is, this is Math Madness. You're going to answer math questions with other members of your grade. And the last person remaining is named the winner. Now, just as a reminder, right, all these questions are going to be around skills that you've been practicing and learning in kindergarten. So if you've been paying attention, you've been studying, chances are we could be here for a little while, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over the rules for the event. All right. And we're going to make sure that everybody knows that this is a competition where oh, we only, we're only going to have one winner, but that's okay. Right. This is everybody for themselves is we're not on teams today. We're just going to all give it a whirl and we're going to see what happens. Okay. What was that? Okay. All right. So let's begin the rules. Here's what you need to know to be successful in today's competition. Okay. First and foremost, students participating in the event must keep their camera on as long as they are in the competition. If I can see you, you can see me. And if you can see me, then that means we can keep on rolling. You need to see everything that I'm putting on the screen. You need to be able to see my face. I need to be able to see your face. If I see you have a whole team of people in there doing the math problems for you, that's a no-no. You got to do this all by yourself, right? And I think you can do that. I think you guys will be just fine. It's going to be a good time. Rule number two, all work must be completed with a pencil and paper. A pencil and paper, okay? So if you have a pencil and you have paper. Can I talk about something, please? I'm sorry? I said, can I talk about something? About you have something you need to say? Sure, Aiden. Um, there's a reason we can't do it all by ourselves. Yes, you asked me. Change a dirt. So, if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, I'm going to be real quick. If for whatever reason you can't do it all by yourself, what do we do about that? Well, you got to just try. You got to just try. It's just like doing a doing a test or doing an assessment. Sometimes you guys do the topic assessments on Savis. It's just like that. You just got to try to do it yourself. If you can't do it yourself, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you just say, "I tried." And then you keep on moving and then it's okay. You know, we, there's no hard feelings about it. The problem is we have to have you do it by yourself because this is a student competition. And this is one of the first times that we've done this with kindergarten. So this is new for us too, but I bet you guys, we, we picked a great group to be able to break the ice with. So let's make this happen. Question, uh, rule number three, excuse me. You will have one minute to answer each question. Ms. Lorenzano, who's part of the B team, and Ms. Roman, who's part of the B team, are here with us as well. And Ms. Lorenzano is going to serve as timekeeper. They're helping make sure that everybody's ready. They're making sure that everybody has all the materials they need and that everybody in the Zoom is feeling fine. So when you write your answer, you must circle it. What does that mean? That means that if you have a piece of paper and you're doing the problem and you're doing your work and you're trying to show us what to do, you're going to then, whatever your answer is, if it's, a, if it's an equation, if it's a number, you have to make sure that you circle it, right? See how Mr. Barber wrote the number 13 and I circled it. The reason I circled it is that's how I know that's the answer I picked. You got to make sure you circle your answer. If you don't circle your answer, we don't know what we're looking at. So you must circle and show your final answer when Mr. Barber says pencils down. And when I say pencils down, all you got to do is take your pencil, put it down, and you put your hands together like this, like you're going to rest your head on your hands for a second while you wait for Mr. Barber to ask you to share your uh, work just like Sophia has her hands, just like Vernon has his hands. That's it. 
And you only got to do that when we say pencils down, right? We want to make sure we can see those hands and that they're in a position so that we can then grab the paper to show what we got. Rule number four, you must show your work for the answers you submit. Now, I know sometimes it's going to be as easy as just picking a number. For you guys, this rule is a little more flexible because some stuff is just answering. But if you have to do some work on your paper, we do want to see it. We're not going to check the whole thing. So you should circle your answer. But whatever work that you have to try to do to solve the problem, make sure we can see that on the paper. I would also say that you should use a different piece of paper for every question, or at least make sure that you have enough room between one question and the next. If there's not enough room, sometimes we look at your paper and we don't know what we're looking at. We don't need that to be the case. Rule number four, is it the same one? Oh, excuse me, that's a duplicate slide. Rule number five, if you answer, whoops, if you answer a question correctly, you go to the next round. But if you answer a question incorrectly, you are eliminated from the competition unless everyone in a round answers incorrectly. So what this means is if you get a question right and we say way to go, you get to, you get to answer the next question. If you answer a question wrong, then we just say, thank you so much for playing. We're going to drop that camera and we're going to keep it moving. You can stick around if you want to, but just remember that you will no longer be a part of the competition once the camera goes off. Um, but if you want to hang out and try to answer the rest of the questions before the competition is over, that's totally fine too. So that's about it for that rule, except if everyone gets a question wrong, well, then everybody moves on. If all students in a round answer a question incorrectly, then all students continue to the next round. That means that if you guys all get it wrong, nobody gets out. Okay, so try your best all the same. Rule number six, remember to enjoy yourself. Be proud of yourself for having made it this far. That is a big accomplishment. Yay, yay, yay. Let's do it. All right. I think at this rate, we're ready to begin, right? So everybody get that pencil ready. Get your paper ready. Let's make this happen. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Cool. Good. Yes. All right. Look at that. Everybody looks serious, serious. I think that means we're ready to go. So you got your pencil, you got your paper, okay? All right, remember one minute after the question goes up. Some won't take you a minute. Don't show me anything until I say, show me your answers. So don't do your answer and then go, here it is, Mr. Borbert. Don't do that, don't do that, because then other people will see it and then everybody will have your answer. All right, question number one, count the leaves. Which number tells how many leaves? Don't show me your paper yet. Start that timer, Ms. Lorenzano. Uh oh. Count the leaves. Which number tells us tells how many leaves? Okay. Ms. Lawrence has got a timer. Nobody on mute. Nobody turn off cameras. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Remember, after you write the number, you may be sitting here for a second, like the question may be really easy, but still, just be ready with that answer, okay? Yeah, circle. This one is kind of like just so that we can get used to the format. All right. Yeah, thank you. Again, don't show me anything yet. I'm not looking at. Oh, there it is. There it is. A minute comes and goes. All right, everybody. Hold on a sec. Wait, don't show yet. Don't show me anything yet. I don't want to see anything yet. We're going to switch that screen. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, hands are together. Pencils are down. I want you to pick up your paper and I want you to show me your answer. Which number tells us how many leaves? Okay, I see. Yep. Let me see. Let me bring that right up to the camera so I can see. Okay, cool. Okay, what else we got there? Okay, um, am I looking at the circled number there? And then Vernon, you got your answer for me? You gotta hold up your paper. Oh, Vernon, pencils gotta be down. No pencils, no pencils, Vernon, no pencils. I don't know what we're doing, but oh, what are we doing, Vernon? Uh-oh, Vernon, what you doing, bud? Everything okay? Did you have something? You gotta remember to show your paper after you do the answer. I Crayon, not a pencil. Oh, okay. If you have a crayon, that's okay. Let's take a look. Whatever you got. 
Okay. All right. So we're going to, I saw, I saw the number seven on everybody's, on everybody's paper. All right. So just make sure that you show that when Mr. Borba says to show it and pencils, crayons, whatever you got, if you got a crayon burning, that's a okay. Just make sure that that is down by the time I say pencils or crayons down. I'll say writing utensil down. Okay. Cause we want to make sure that everybody's doing this at the same time. So for question one, we're going to all, we're, we're going to say everybody got that one. That was good practice right there. Number seven. All right. So give it up for yourselves and we're going to move on to question two. Okay. And we're going to be a little bit tighter this time around. We got to make sure we're a little bit quicker now that we all know how this works. Okay. Okay. Let me see. All right, here we go. Ready? A minute on the timer when, when I say so. Here it comes. Count question number two, count the cubes. Which number is missing? Which number is missing? Oh, we've got Janelle showing up too. Which number is missing? Have a pencil and paper. Janelle, we have gotten through the first question so far, which everybody got right. I think what we're going to do at I'm this sorry, rate. I'm sorry. Um, she didn't know how to log in. I wasn't here. So oh. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so let's say, so the first question is already come and gone. Let's get a pencil and paper real quick. Okay. I'm not going to go back over all the rules. I will just let you know that you need to circle the number. Okay. You got to circle the number of uh, the question that you're answering. So let's just make sure that on a pencil and on a piece of paper, you are answering this question right now, which number is missing, right? Which number is missing? Okay. Write that down on a piece of paper, circle the answer. And when I say time's up, you're going to show me. So Janelle, let's see if you can do that real quick. Get ready. I'm going to give us another five seconds just so we can make sure that we have everybody in the mix with us. Go ahead. So Janelle, you're looking at that question right there. It says, which number is missing? Write that down on a piece of paper, circle the answer. And then I'm going to tell you when to show it. Don't show it yet. Do not show me anything yet. Go ahead and make sure you got that. Please take your pencil. Please put your pencil down. Please put your pencil down. Pencils down. Pencils down. Counting the cubes. Which number was missing? Hands are together. Grab that paper. Please put it right up against the camera for me so I can see the answer that you have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please make sure you have the answer circled that I am looking at. Hold up a sec. Give me one second. Keep that up until I tell you to put it down. Let me see. Push that. Push it right up. Push it right up against there. That good. Thank you. Let me see the number that I'm looking at. Please bring that up. Good. Thank you, Vernon. Where's my number, bud? Where's my number? Okay. Am I? If I'm looking out, I think we have one person that's out right now. All right. So the number that we were looking for was three. So Sid Hearth, unfortunately, we're gonna have to move on. But give it up for Sid Hearth. Yes, yes, yes. Sid Hearth is awesome. We did it. We're all here. We're all amazing. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to stop that video for right now. Boom, boom. And now we are down to seven competitors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I count? I can count. I can. I can do math. All right. So it's going to get, it's going to move. It's going to get harder from here. So please get ready. Please get ready. Please get ready. No, for real. Get ready. No, for real. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, I'm talking to you. Great. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep going. The next one you're going to see, once again, I think we all understand the system here. Please make sure you circle your answer when you give your answer. Here we go. Question number three, what number is greater than the number on the card? What number is greater than the number on the card? Ms. Lorenzano will give us a minute. What number is greater than the number on the card?
Okay, 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 okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that timer has gone off. Please make sure you have circled your answer. Make sure you have circled your answer. Pencil, don't show me anything. I say, show me, don't show me anything. Don't show me anything. Make sure that I'm looking at the right number. So if you have a bunch of numbers circled because of other questions, please point to the one that I'm looking at. And right now, everybody, please show me your answers. Show me your answers. Let's see it. Show me an answer. Bring it up close to that camera. That's what I'm talking about. See that? Okay. 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 Guys, pencils got to be down. I'm not sure why I'm seeing things get written up right now. What's going on here? What's that cross out right there? Wait a minute. What am I looking at? Okay. I'm looking at that number right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I have uh three people maybe f i need a i need a verdict on hannah on what hannah did i got i've got uh one two three still in vernon you can put down thank you i'm glad to have seen that i've got one two three people still here i've got one two three out here i need to janelle show me your answer once more Show me your answer one one. Uh, not Janelle, excuse me, Janelle. No, you're Janelle. You're fine. Hannah, show me your answer once more. Not Janelle. Hannah, Janelle. Got yours. Show me what we got here. Yes. Okay. This this was her old part of her old. Oh, I see. Okay, right. So this is right. her. Answer. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I see what's going on here. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Seeing the way that it is. All right, okay. cool. Fantastic. All right, so we are down to four people. Four people. Okay, we have uh, Sophia, Ava, Vernon, and Hannah. So let's give it up. Let's give it up for Natalie, Aiden. Natalie's good? What's her number? Oh, I'm sorry. I saw I read that differently. Natalie as well. My apologies. So that means... Huh? Yeah, guys, please use a new page, if anything. I know it's going to seem like a waste of paper, but it will help as far as us making sure that we're looking at everything. Do Use a new page if possible, all right? Um, so, Aiden, thank you kindly. Uh, Janelle, thank you kindly. All right, thank you so very much. Thank you, Janelle. And so that puts us at five people then. We've got Sophia, we've got Hannah, we've got Natalie and we have Ava and Vernon. Sophia, Hannah, Natalie, Ava, Vernon. Great. All right, get ready. Question number four, about to commence. Here we go. Question number four, what number is less than the number shown? Once again, question four, what number is less than the number shown? Time's on the clock. Let's do it. Don't show me anything yet. No, nope, don't show me anything yet. Number what number is less than the number shown? Wait, give me a sec. All right, pencils are down, please. Pencils are down. Let's see the hands real quick. Pencils are down. Pencils are down. Pencils are down. All right, uh, time's going to come. Ready? And show me an answer. Go ahead. Hold it up. Hold it up nice and clear for me. Hold it up nice and clear for me. Hold it up nice and clear. Vernon, what you got for me? You got anything there? What you got for me? You got to show me something. Show me something. Uh, I got to see that a little bit closer. I'm not having a hard time seeing. Okay. Right, I'm looking at that. That is, you look at that just to make sure I've got two people moving, moving on. on. Mm -hmm. right. I can see. It's okay, it's okay. Aiden, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep that muted, bud. Keep that muted, bud. Thank you, Aiden. All right, so I believe I have two people left at this rate. Okay, I have, so Sophia, show me that once more. And just clarifying, Hannah, you're good. 
Let me see. Show me once more. I think you're fine, though. Yeah, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to two people, and those two people are going to be Hannah and Sophia. So let's give it up for everybody else. Let's give it up for Natalie. Let's give it up for Vernon. Let's give it up for Ava. We were looking for a number that was less than five. So we could have taken one, two, three, or four. Um, I believe I think I saw some numbers in the teens over here. And then I saw, I know that I think Vernon had the number six for me. So let's keep it rolling. Okay, good job, everybody. You guys are awesome. And we're going to uh, stop a couple videos here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. See you later, Vernon and Leonardo in the background. That's an awesome statue. And uh, we're going to keep it moving. Okay, let's get to that next question. All right, guys, again, it's uphill from here, so I hope you're ready. Oh, oh, okay, we got, hold on. Mr. Rover's has got to send a message to everybody in the Zoom, I mean, in the waiting room right now. Uh, everyone in the waiting room. Thanks for joining. We will be ready for the first grade group soon. They sit tight. Okay. There we go. All right, so. Question number five. The picture shows a way to break apart eight. Write an equation that matches the picture. Write an equation. Oh, write an equation that matches the picture. Get a... All right, guys, you've got one minute on the clock. Right. Picture shows a way to break apart eight. Write an equation that matches the picture. Your timer's on. All right, I've heard the timer go off. All right, Hannah and Sophia, pencils down. I know you got it. Show me, show me something you got for me. What you got for me? Hold it up. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I am looking for an equation here. That's the one thing. So here's the issue, and I'm going to call in one of my colleagues to help me kind of evaluate what I'm looking at. Right. So this is what we're looking at for Hannah and Sophia, which means I believe uh, we're right. All right, so. Ladies, you guys are awesome. Sophia is the one that has the equation that two plus six equals eight. That is what we were looking for. So let's give it up for Hannah. Hannah, you're awesome. Give yourself a pat on the back. The problem is we did need to see the two plus eight as an equation. So with that being said, thank you so very much. Um, we're going to chill for just a second. I'm going to uh, pull up. We're going to pull up the song in just a minute. Uh, I'm also going to switch over to the screen that I got here. But way to go. Again, we're going to go back. Don't, and I would just say that the other thing to know is that this is only the first competition we have. We've got another one coming up later for spelling that we're going to give more information to your teacher about so that she can help you guys get ready for that too. So what I'm going to do at this point is I am going to just end up starting to switch my screen. But thank you, Hannah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop the video for right now, okay, uh, so that I can just sort of uh, have Sophia for one moment, but thank you, Hannah. Again, we're going to all sort of, we got we're going to switch over, go back to Ms. Tinchu zoom in just a second, but we'll take a minute. Okay. So I'm going to just stop that video real quick. All right. So we're going to get, um, we're going to switch over the screen one time. All right. And so the winner is for the kindergarten math beat is, hold on. We're going to add a spotlight. Sophia Pastrana, so way to go, way to go, fantastic. Sophia, I'm gonna let you unmute for a second. Is there anything that you would like to say? Thank you to everyone that played. Thank you to everyone that played, that's absolutely right. And thank you for you for competing. But yes, absolutely, wanna say a final thank you to Hannah, Janelle, Vernon, Natalie, Aiden, uh, 
Sid Hearth, and Ava. So way to go, everybody. And on that note, Mr. Borba is going to, I'm going to remove the last video here. All right, we're going to move down one more time. All right, uh-oh. That well, did I stop video? I did. Oh, I'm gonna remove the spotlight real quick. And oh, and so oh yeah, give me one second. We're just gonna finish up the recording here. Thank you everybody for playing. The video will come out on Friday morning. So without further ado, this is the B team signing off. Oh, not that song. It's not a song. All right, let's go ahead. All right, we're going to fade that out. Go ahead and switch myself. And we'll stop it right. Okay, hold on. We're going to fade that out here. Fantastic. And we will stop the recording right there. All right, guys. Uh, yeah.